Good morning. This is my first uh, video for 2023. Today I'm going to cover my bedding, how I set up my bed in my Cura Air. The Cura Air does come with a um, pad. And um, first time I put my dog in there, when I first set the tent up, I said, here, here Phoenix, check this out, check this bed out. She sat down on that big, nice, beautiful new pad and dragged her ass and left a skid mark, a huge skid mark on my brand new bed. Anyhow, that wasn't pleasant, wiped it all up, but you know, still, you know, knowing it's there and you can't like wash the cover or it's, it's just a really big mattress and it's not that comfortable for me. And as an old man, it, it was, it was a beautiful mattress and looked really nice. And if I was a younger, younger body, uh, it would probably have been adequate. And then, uh, about the second camping trip or so, I had my air conditioner set up and didn't watch the alignment of the drainage, the, the condensation drain, and some of that water was running into the mattress or left the mattress soaked. This made me realize how vulnerable that large mattress is. So I, I got thinking, one, I need comfort. One, I want virtually no water penetration, and I'll explain that in a little bit. And one that can be wiped up and cleaned and sanitized. And because uh, any foam mattress, you're out there in the elements, things are going to get in. Doing your best, to, even if you go into camp and 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 um, it's raining, you're you're basically stepping from the outside right into your bedroom, into your bed. So I, I needed some improvements on that mattress, and I'll I'm, I'll be happy to show share with you what I okay. did. Okay, let's just start at the foundation. First of all. The Cura Air, I believe it's an aluminum core. It's a really, really nice floor that they give you. I mean, off the top of my head in the description, it's an aluminum core. It's really strong. It, um, I'm sure it flexes, but we don't really feel it. Um, and if it is aluminum, it's going uh, to have insulation values because of the trapped air. But it's also going to have um, condensation issues. So here's the, here's the tent. This is the mattress right now. We'll get into that a little bit. This is the condensation mat from Cura. I decided to put it underneath the tent so that um, it provide that airspace I need. I don't know if I can show you. Let me get to a different view. I put anti-fatigue uh, anti mat, that cheap flooring mat. The one you can square together, the size worked out really great. You just tape the edges down. So I got this half inch anti fatigue mat, which is cellular, traps air. And then I put the condensation mat underneath, um, on top of that fatigue mat, underneath the mattress. So this black right here, got my hands on, that's the bottom of the tent. That's the condensation mat that I got from Cura. And that's fatigue mat. And then here's the floor. Inside the tent, explaining my bedding. All right, I got the screen open. It's a beautiful day here right now. T humidity is low, temperature is low. Here's the two beds. I've just got the blankets on there right now. We really prefer the blankets over the sleeping bag. Let me uh, peel this back. All right, there's a sheet. And it's kind of tucked in, so let me pull it out. All right, then, so we'd sleep on sleep on the sheet underneath the blanket, and it, it's working out really good for us. Um, that way you can adjust the blankets on the body parts that need the, the coverage or, or not. Take it off. So much easier than getting trapped in a sleeping bag. Um, and you'll know why. Mostly we do summer camping, but we're getting ready to do a winter camp, and I got this heating pad. It's from Korea. They specialize, and it's got... I remember correctly, like infrared technology, and it's really nice. It's um, designed to be underneath the bed. Yeah, here's the controller for that. I really don't expect to be using it very warm at all for, for our camping. And then the mattress pad that came with the tent, I, I got rid of that. It just felt like a liability. Cleanliness, sanitation, uh, just just didn't, and it wasn't comfortable. Um, Decided to go with air mattresses, um, self-inflating, 
air mattress. This is four inches thick, 25 inches wide, and then I've got two of them. So inside the tent, the two 25 inch wide mattresses fit nicely. You don't want too much pressure on the side of the tent. You don't want big, well, you can live with big gaps. It's tough to get anything, if not impossible, this thickness any narrower. And then here's the valve for letting the air out or in. That little valve right there. That lets the air out. It's not going to do anything because it's at neutral right now. It's like homostasis. Balanced. The foam that's in there is expanding foam. And I'll put this cap. So, clean floor. When I want to clean, I take these things out and I can clean that floor. Sweep it, vacuum it, sanitize it, whatever. And then the mattress, which has all polyester and uh, other, I'm sure, chemicals, but no foam that can absorb anything from, from my dog uh, or us, you know. And then the heating pad, and then the sheets, and then our blankets. And that gives us our layers that we need. Um, but that's that's it on the on the sleeping arrangement. Right. I folded everything up. This, start from the bottom. All right, here's the bottom of the tent. Underneath this liner that's like the bathtub of the tent is the condensation mat, anti-condensation mat. And underneath that is the a fatigue and a fatigue mat, just the, the cheap stuff. So I got a lot of base insulation from the aluminum core floor. Those air mattresses, four inches thick when they're inflated. I opened the valve, rolled them out as tight as I could one time. I didn't do twice. I might have to. Um, and then just simply fold it in half. Unrolled it and then fold it in half because here's the center line for the fold on the rooftop tent. The center line is right here. Um, so I got myself plenty of room. So that's the mattress folded over. And then my heating pad, same thing, just folded it over. And then I just opened up the two layers of blankets and the two layers of sheets. So they're all here. And it's there's a lot of still compressible. So it looks tall. We'll find out in a few minutes if it's going to work or not. So let's uh, let's check it out. I think it's working. I do love the system. The aerodynamics, the weight, the shelter from the weather. See, that fits. And that's going to fit. All right. And this is going to fit. See if it's much better now. Yay. All right, the cover's all the way on. Um, you can see how it fits up here, and then back here, it fits. Tricks I've learned along the way. You got these big flaps, and you can coil them up, and then tie them in a nice, nice roll. Here's how I've learned to manage that, so they, they come out really good. I fold like a corner over, and then I fold another corner over, and this works on all the all my flaps. And then I just start rolling up the triangle. Took me a while to figure this out. Didn't see anybody share this trick with you. So well, let me let me include a segment on that. And then the little straps right here. Hold it into place. And you got a nice clean window ledge. And it's so easy to roll up that way. So that's my little extra bonus frame.